Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we're gonna take a look uh, at wiring on the uh, empennage. And uh, let's take a look what I've done. Uh, and uh, we'll talk about some of the vendors that I've used and uh, the way I've done it, obviously, uh, maybe slightly different than the way you guys do it, but uh, let's take a look and uh, see what we got going on. All right, guys. So um, this is obviously uh, the uh, vertical stabilizer, right? So um, I'm using Midwest uh, Panel Builders cabling. Obviously, uh, they're great. They come with uh, these connectors already done. I've added uh, some wiring covering just to uh, help it for its lifetime on there. And of course, uh, also transitioned with uh, a heat shrink here as well. I am going through the rear grommet holes on this thing. Instead of uh, in the instruction manual, it says uh, go through the front and the front and then come to the rear. Now, I did this because when I talked to Midwest, they said, hey, you wanna make sure that the cable that you've got coming out of this grommet hole in the front goes at least halfway back. So it needed to come to about here. And my cable was just a little bit short in this regard. And I wanted to make sure obviously that I have enough up here to make the connection. Now, you can tell there's a lightning hole, it's protected. I've got my standoff uh, set here. So this cable needs to come back in with the connector and live in here for its life. Now, the connector itself, you know, will have the beacon connector. This thing will go on like this. And this will just be a, again, a stubby that comes out of, um, out of the rudder and that, that'll get pushed in when the, when the rudder gets connected, right? So that's that. I am using Avio Engineering's Lightning. Thank you, Kestrel, for providing this. Um, this is uh, the Supernova DV. Uh, you can see from the side of the box here, it's this guy. It's a red beacon and it connects. Obviously it's got three, uh, we've got four cables here, so we need to uh, dead terminate one, uh, which is obviously uh, nav red, uh, which we don't need back here. We just need the strobe, the strobe sink, and the uh, the ground here. So that's what we're going to do. Here you can tell again the instruction as I was talking about the the wire running. Uh, sling recommends front, front, rear, out, and then use a standoff to uh, to hold this wire. So that's uh, what we did on that instruction there. Now, uh, so uh, Midwest provides some good instructions, right? They tell you basically what to do with the pins. And in this case, this is going to be the male side of the house. So uh, we're going to follow the male instructions, which is A, B, C, D. And we're going to pin uh, nav, strobe, sink, ground on that instruction. Now, they already did the labeling for us, which is great. So each cable is nicely labeled and they already pre-terminated the pins. The main thing is, as you go through these grommet holes, is you gotta, you got you just gotta move these cables a little bit to get them through the grommet. My suggestion is to not put the grommet in the hole to start the cable and um, put the grommet on the cable over here and then put the cable through the hole and then put the grommet uh, into the hole once you're set there and that way, uh, you have a little bit more wiggle room to work with the grommet uh, before you get that done. Some people have re replaced these grommets as well because they, you know, they're rubber, they can wear after a couple of years, maybe a decade, maybe three decades. Some people have replaced them, I think with nylon bushings in some regards instead to give it uh, a more, I don't know, lifetime kind of effect. Obviously, um, you're gonna have a hard time going back for any of these once they break. And if they do break, um, you know, you're gonna be stuck uh, with it anyway, because you'd have to pull the cable out to do anything at that point. Now, 
The elevator is a slightly different story as well. Um, obviously Midwest provides that portion for you. Um, this is the inspection hole. This is the elevator trim motor. Obviously it's gonna go down, down on the inside. It's gonna end up like this with uh, the trim motor being attached over here. Trim motor being attached over here. And the, the rod is gonna go from the motor out this hole and it's gonna attach over here to this guy, right? But the cabling wise, uh, we got the same thing. Midwest has provided the cabling for it. Obviously, Sling provides the motor. You have to do the connection for it, and those you can use solder sleeves, something like that. I did solder sleeves, and then I put, uh, um, again, a uh, cover over it, and I did that just to kind of help protect and keep things kind of together. I also did it over here just, again, to keep the wires a little bit more bundled in that way. Again, we'll figure it out once we put the trim motor in. We're going to have excess, right? The uh, um, Underneath this, uh, uh, this blanket, we've got uh, the rest of the horizontal stabilizer. It uh, comes out... Obviously, it comes out of that hole. I've got a standoff next to it. You can see the outside of the standoff right there. You can see the, uh, the, the protection there for edge protection. And then I've got, a, I've got the cable kind of protected right now because I'm going to put this up against the, uh, uh, the inside trailing edge so that when I pack it up for, for a time being, it's going to be secure. And then... On the inside, again, it comes out over here. I have the same thing. It's got a little bit of play on it, not too much, but again, I've got a little protection on it, and I just have it. I just have it kind of like wedged in here, and with the cardboard, it kind of keeps it nice, kind of snug. And it stays in there, and again, keeping the connector kind of kind of protected while it's packed up uh, for that. But uh, so far, I really like uh, the stuff from Midwest. Uh, it's been super easy to work with. The, uh, the team as well, Steve and Adam, they've been super responsive to basically every silly question that I've asked. They've given me an answer for, and uh, yeah, they've been, they've been super cool uh, to work with. And uh, I've met them once or twice in person as well now. And uh, it's, uh, it's been really uh, good experience. I'm going to buy the rest of the hardware, uh, rest of the electronics, obviously from them and the rest of the wiring harnesses. Uh, I already have the, the wing hiring, wiring mar harness and I already have the, the, uh, I guess the body to tail wiring harness as well in that regard. And so that, uh, will start, uh, coming together when those kits arrive and uh, Kestrel, again, has been highly recommended. Uh, I also have their wing lights, uh, which I ended up with uh, the Ultra Daylights uh, from them. And uh, they've been super cool to, to work with and uh, super helpful um, as well. So uh, not that I uh, are sponsored by them or anything else, but they've been... Uh, uh, great people to work with uh, in the industry, and um, that's uh, that's where that is. Cool. All right, guys. So that's what we have for the wiring harness situation on the tail. Uh, you can tell, pretty simple, easy to to do. And uh, once we do the wings, we'll do uh, the same thing there. We'll talk about the the wiring harnesses on that side, how they lay out, and uh, I'll make sure to to get them while they're open for you guys as well. So you can see where I laid them and uh, how that came to, together also. All right, uh, like and subscribe below and uh, we'll get some new videos out to you guys as well shortly on where we are in uh, March on the current build. All right, thanks guys.